what I'm really going to show is the Quilter's Clapper tonight. So I'm hey, not going to lay this to down lay again. Down. <laughs> yeah, now that I've warped my cutting mat. Uh -oh. And I told you it'd be fine. <laughs> yeah. I said, you think that'll be too hot? No. Nah. Um, if you want to press your seams open, even if you don't want to press your seams open, you can press them to one side. But what the clapper does, and I'm ironing with my left hand, and I'm not left-handed. You lay that on there, and it sets your seam for you. Now, that one I pressed open. I'm going to do another one, and I'm going to um, press it to the side. Once again, I feel this feels really awkward because I am right-handed. There we go. Switch over. Okay, so I'm gonna... now you're back to normal. Yes. So, Teresa Dugan's watching. Okay. It helps it lay nice and flat. So what I do whenever I'm pressing my blocks, oh my, that's really warped. <laughs> We're gonna have to try something. So I'll press, I'll, I'll press my seams on one. I set the clapper on it, set it aside. Go ahead and do another one. And then if I've got room under the clapper, see how nicely that lays down? Yeah, it does. And I ironed it, I mean, I, I used it on the back of my vintage housewife. It had, I pressed all my seams open and all those little two and a half inch squares and they laid down really nicely. So that's what a clapper does. We have a clapper in a seven inch, which is a small one. If you've never had one and want to try it, that's a good size to get. 